Okay, we're good. Okay. My name is Dan Brickmeyer. I'm from Mount Carroll. Uh, I am a, uh, a an illustrator. Uh, I uh, also I paint. Um, I'm primarily known for my drawings. I've had a, a fairly lengthy career uh, as an as an illustrator, as actually as a science uh, communication specialist. I worked many years for the Field Museum in Chicago, and uh, but I'm from Mount Carroll, so I had to come back here and uh, decided to. Uh, start to actually go back and paint all the things I never got around to all the years I was doing something else. Um, and so I have a little studio here in Mount Carroll. I uh, paint uh, as often as I can. Uh, basically my paintings are uh, things that I uh, develop or uh, kind of build based on the idea uh, of, um, uh, they're based in, in rural uh, rural areas, of, uh, similar to the one we live in here around Mount Carroll, and um, they're usually about ceremonies, uh, rituals, social interactions, people uh, gathering for a specific reason, um, usually in this, again, based in, a, kind of like placed in a, a Midwestern landscape, uh, and almost, um, you know, if I can, uh, I uh, do something that is about, uh, again, that, that social interaction and all everything I do. Um, so I'm a uh, represent, representational painter, which means that I paint things uh, that are uh, not abstract, but fairly realistic, but I'm not totally realistic. Um, I'm probably closer to having a uh, impressionistic style with a lot of brushwork, um, and um, anyway. What's your influence? My influences. Uh, my influences. Uh, when I was younger, I have drawn. Uh, I was able to draw when I was very, very young. Um, five years old, six years old. I was already doing like landscapes. I mean, I mean, you know, seeing scenery, and I was imagining things in my head. Um, I don't necessarily draw um, like by looking at something, but I have always been able to visualize something in my head and actually then produce it from that. Uh, my influences then as I grew up were around, I, I, you know, I, I drew everything that I saw around me. Uh, you draw things obviously that are familiar with you, uh, are familiar to you, um, and probably some of the first um, influences or things that I saw in terms of art style. Uh, even when I was in high school, I remember picking up a book on uh, surrealism and looking at, at uh, Dolly, uh, looking at uh, any of the surrealists, and that kind of that magic realism, that kind of illusion of, you know, playing with juxtaposition of different objects in a space, that kind of a thing, making things up. That def and it's very fun, uh, because I think that art should be fun, number one. Uh, it, it definitely influenced me. And so I went on uh, later on uh, and started to kind of identify a lot with the uh, uh, regionalists. Uh, that's the American scene painters of the 30s uh, during the, the Depression, uh, which is, you know, Grant Wood, um, John Stuart Curry, uh, a number of people like that. And so I, I still actually kind of think about them when I do things. I'm trying to actually then represent uh, my rural environment here in a way that I don't necessarily feel many people do. Uh, although again, it's a, it's a made up world and it, it sometimes doesn't, uh, it doesn't always uh, have a lot of similarities to uh, like, like what you really see, but it's something that I construct and make up. So, so my, I had various influences, but those were the big ones, probably surrealism and regionalism. And um, when I really uh, learned about art, um, I never spent much time in, in museums. I didn't have the opportunity uh, to, to go to museums and see much art. Um, when I was about maybe 25, I went to Europe and I hitchhiked around and I went to all the museums I could. And I spent a lot of time uh, in, in art museums um, just staring at, at, at paintings. And I learned a lot about that. Uh, obviously, when I went away to, uh, to, to the University of Illinois, I took art history, and so you sat. You, you know, and not everything had an influence on you, but some things did. 
some things I definitely remember from our history. And uh, that probably, uh, for me, is something I, I, I wish I had probably learned more about our history. Uh, I've taught uh, college a few times and taught our history courses, and those are opportunities, opportunities for me to even learn it even more. So my influences are, are, quite, are quite varied. Um, uh, as, a, as an artist, uh, as a, someone who I am really known more uh, for my drawing, ability uh, than my painting. I paint, but I'm really a better, I'm really more of a, a drawer, uh, someone who draws things, illustrator. Um, I, I did like, I like grew up with comic books and things like that, that kind of graphic uh, exposition that, that, uh, that comics have it really appealed to me. So uh, I've done a lot of comics in my time. So.